Are you a political person, my friend? I am not very political, but I get out and vote and try to understand each candidate's platform. I try to understand what is happening and listen as closely as possible to each candidate before I vote. I will be honest and say that my candidate seldom is the winner. I often wondered what would happen if each candidate talked about how God would help them if elected. I don't remember anyone saying they would start each morning with a prayer before taking office. I think it is vital that our leaders look to God first before they lead. I also wondered what would happen if all the people prayed for our leaders daily for God's support and guidance. I think it would create a very different dynamic. Perhaps we wouldn't have as much disagreement and deception in our country if we all united in the spirit of God to truly pray for those we elected to lead us. We still may have disagreements about policies, certain votes, and taxes, but don't you think we would look at our country differently if we all prayed for our leaders? Certainly, I am talking about a pipe dream trying to unite our country through prayer, but the Bible teaches us that God is the true leader of every country and that all leaders and the general population need to follow God and support each other through prayer. We started praying for our leaders in our Bible study. We don't ask for specific things, we pray for God to give our local, state, and national leaders wisdom, guidance, and spiritual direction to lead the country under God. I am including the political leaders in my daily prayers as well. What do you think, my friend? Could our leaders benefit from our prayers? Living as one in the Holy Spirit if you fear the Lord and serve and obey Him and do not rebel against His commands, and if both you and the King who reigns over you follow the Lord your God, good. 1 Samuel 12 verse 14 All of life must be held together with the divine essence of creation. Life must flow under my physical laws and spiritual commandments. My holy order has been put in place for a reason. The reason is that everyone must work together to make life equitable for all people. No one is to be considered greater than another person. Leaders are in place to lead and unite you, not enslave you. I give myself freely to all people so that all my people will live freely in me. Freedom of humanity will only be achieved if all humans give themselves to me. Good things happen, blessings abound, and love rules the world when you follow me. I am not a hard taskmaster, but a loving spirit who wants the best for you. I place the government of this world in the hands of leaders. Pray for them, my child. Leaders are in place to help unite you, guide you, and support you. Keep all the leaders in your prayers so that they will seek me for their wisdom and spiritual strength. Kings, queens, judges, and rulers have all gone before the current leaders. They began to lose the ultimate purpose when they lost sight of me. All leaders are in place to safely guide you to my beloved children. Pray for your leaders as if they are guiding you to me. My good friend, I did not intend for our devotional to have a political tone. I am merely trying to unite us in the awesome power of the Holy Spirit. Continue to pray for whomever you desire, but I would encourage us all to pray for the elected people to guide us. We boast that we are one nation under God, perhaps that statement would be even more true if we all prayed for our nation and its leaders. May I pray for you, my friend? Holy Spirit, move over our land. Cover our nation with your awesome spiritual power and grace. Help us feel the unifying power of your love. Fill us with love and hope, O Spirit. We pray for our elected leaders to guide us and care for us. Give each official spiritual strength and holy wisdom. Remind them that they are leading your children. Inspire our leaders, O Spirit of faith. Teach our leaders how to be strong in the face of difficulty. Show them how to be compassionate in trying times. Allow them to see the people through your eyes. Teach our leaders how to love like you, my Jesus. Unite your children in heart and prayer. Help us pray for our leaders to provide spiritual support. Allow us to be a great part of their success. Unite your children as one, O Holy Spirit. I do have some good news for you, 
My friend. We have enhanced our weekly blog. It will now appear in written format on our webpage. We will also produce it in video and audio format, so people can listen to it no matter what media they subscribe to. We will publish the weekly blog on Monday mornings. With all that we do, we hope our blog will help you realize that there is nothing closer to you than the Spirit of God.